Hello everybody, welcome back to Order of Battle, Panzer Krieg and Paradox Gamer playing, and we're about to start on the Caucasus scenario. It's July 1942. As the second stage of Case Blue, German forces advance into the Caucasus region to seize its vital oil fields. So this was... In real life this was not really a successful campaign. They never managed to really control the area of Caucasus. Let's see what we have here. We have a commander there. That's from the last um, mission. Army Group A will begin its final drive towards the Caucasus oil fields today. A key objective set for Case Blue. A rapid advance will be vital for success. We cannot give the Soviets time to destroy the fuel production facilities during their retreat. It is crucial the production facilities are captured intact in order to proceed oil production without delay. Particular precautions should be taken to protect any captured installations against Soviet counterattacks. In addition to the oil fields, several other objectives must be secured to establish a strong foothold in the region. More specifically, the cities of Krasnodar, Amavir and Maikop must be captured. These form the center of the enemy's main defenses. The Soviet Air Force also has several bases and substantial strength available in this region. The Luftwaffe must establish air superiority to assure our ground forces can reach their objectives undelayed by enemy air attacks. Our capacity to produce oil in Germany and Romania is limited. The ever-increasing role of mechanized and aerial warfare thus makes the large Soviet oil fields vital to success. Equally denying the enemy access to this strategic resource will surely bring this war a quick conclusion. Right, let's see what we're dealing with here. Primaries, capture Krasnodar, Amavir, and my cup. Krasnodar is there. Amavir, and my cup. Also, seize two oil pumps before turn 30. So these are the oil pumps. The Soviet oil facilities must be destroyed must not be destroyed, yeah. <laughs> German units must reach these targets and take out any Soviet units around them to take control of the oil production. One, two, three, four. What about this? I don't know. But we need to seize two of those before turn 30. But how can we seize them before turn 30? Uh, when we... Uh, I'm just thinking. My cup is here. Karasnodar was there. And Amovir is there. I think I will get the primaries before I get any oil pumps. Because they are at the very edge of the map. So if I only have 30 turns for that, for that, that means I have only 30 turns. That's a bit strange. Anyway, secondary objectives. Destroy six Soviet air units. Successful air operations will promote a fighter ace to Luftwaffe commander. Nice, I want to try and get that. Capture one primary VP in 15 turns. Failing to advance quickly through Soviet territory will allow the enemy time to sabotage some oil facilities. That seems a bit hard. Krasnodar is all the way down here. There's a lot of ground to be covered to get to any VP, including my cop. Unless I absolutely put everything in the center. I then just go straight down for my cop and then go for the others later. That's a bit weird and it's, it will be easy to get cut off. I 
So what is the penalty for that? It doesn't say here. Well, they will sabotage oil facilities, and I need two. So if I don't get that in 15 turns, they will sabotage one, two, how many? If it's just one, then fine. Also capture two primary VPs in 25 turns. That's the same text. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. So, it seems there are only four pumps. And I need to seize two of them. And if I don't get one VP in 15 turns, they will destroy one. And if I don't get two primaries in 25, they will destroy two. That would still leave two oil pumps for me to take. By turn 30. So the, the question is, should we just ignore these last two uh, secondaries? And just go for the last two and, and just make sure we get those. And then just go straight down the middle. And then for sure we will get counterattacked. And then we could take Krasnodar from behind. Amovir would be the same. I still have to take that straight up. Now, for that strategy to work, we you would need a lot of units. And I don't really have that. I don't have... My core forces are pretty thin. Um, it's not like I have a million troops I can just push in. So there will be a lot of areas that would need to be secured from enemy counterattacks. The other option is to simply go ignore the middle completely and then go down the flanks we can actually go we can go down this way take out these two this one and then come <clears throat> at Amovia from behind with the risk of getting cut off of course and then over here come down this way take these two and then go for Krasnodar ignoring the center I don't know well this way we would divide our forces in two Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. The question is, if we just leave the center, w will they move up and take all my stuff? Let's see how much supply we have. 50 from Tihoresk. And 50 from this unnamed town up here. And they will be the backbone of my supply. So I'd have to leave some units there to, just to make sure that they don't get captured. I guess we can do that. Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna go for the two pronged down the sides. Leaving a token force back here in the center. <clears throat> okay, let's try that. So, what do we have here? We have Kibirk Shaker 41, Kibirk Shaker 42, half track AA gun, a flak, the KV 1 that I took in the other scenario, and a Mata 2. The KV has no stars. 
so it's not really that strong. It's a KV-1. Okay, so we have our usual four Panzer IVs, four F2s. Let's just see this guy, what does he have? He's got plus one against mechanized and plus one against infantry. Also plus one to reduction of fortifications and efficiency. Let's put him on one of the other tanks. We have already a tank commander in this one. So let's put a tank commander in this one. So we'll need to strengthen it. That's going to cost 100 points or 40. And we'll lose one star in the process. Let's keep the tanks at full, full stars. Put that over here. Put the commander in there. And that, together with the KV, will be the attacking forces over here and with the Marder 2. Over here we'll put the other three. You can send someone around this way through the river. That'll be one, two, three turns before they get up here. Could also send them down this way. That's probably a better idea. I'll try to ignore this. I don't know how this is going to work. We'll send them down this way. Alright, artillery should be divided up. So there's no artillery on the existing forces. So I'm just going to have to divide them up by uh, like two over here and one on the other side. two there and one over here hmm okay infantry looking in the dead pool I think this one is the only one that would make sense in reviving they will lose 70 percent out of four that's three stars they will have one star left maybe one and a half let's see uh, just one. The others it doesn't make any sense to revive them because they will have less than one star and if you buy a new one they will be they will have one star to start with. So I'm not gonna revive anymore. So who's gonna defend the center? That could be the SS for example. Hmm. We've got 200 points and they gain 6 per turn. That almost screams defensive roll, right? So let's put um let's put one there. Or oh, I can't. There's already Germans in there. Uh put him next to them. And then the other one here. And then we can buy one more SS because now we have 12. Uh, sorry, buy here. Purchase SS infantry. And they're static so they don't need any transportation. So that's one, two, three. I don't think we need anybody there. It is 20 supply though. Well, I got the points. We can uh, buy one more SS. I put him here. No, I can't. <laughs> okay, where did he go? There, okay. Right, so that's the defensive force, and then we are going to send the rest of them out.
here. We're going to send one guy around. So that's one, two. We also have these two. Could be Xhaga. So that's a total of four on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, 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 yeah, we're gonna need some more over here. One, two, and the heavies. Three, four. Why do we want the engineers? I think the engineers are going to come down over here. <clears throat> and that leads us to the Kibiak Shaker. There. That leaves us another 25 command points. That means we can conjure up more units in case we need it. So where do we want the artillery? Sorry, the uh, airplanes. Let's see, we have three Fokker Wolf to be really effective. I need four. So I need one more of those. Let's get them to full strength, all of them. There we go. So where can we put them? We can put them here, here. This is more central, I think, but we have to defend the artillery. I think we'll put them down here. So we'll have... <clears throat> We have the Stuka. Recon. And then one, two, three, and another one. Four Fokker Wolf. And another Recon over here. That leaves us with 420 points loads of command points let's try it I have no idea how this is gonna go <clears throat> but uh, we'll see <clears throat> let's get the Arado out first enemy artillery spotted what about over here Enemy aircraft down here. Okay. Uh, we probably have defenders in here, so let's see how far can we go. We can go there. Nothing to see. Okay. These guys will go over here. Um, so let's fire the artillery on. One will go on his artillery. The other one will go on these guys. And we'll do this. And we can actually move up. Okay, let's move up. And go there with the engineers. Take another shot at those guys. Now that was pretty easy. Right, then we have the tanks. Ideally, they should just be able to get through here, but we don't know if they will bump into something. And we'll find out soon enough. Okay, they did not bump into anything. Let's send one down this way. One will go there. Send the infantry down. I, okay, <laughs> so now we see something that the tanks just passed. Let's take a shot at it. And then send the SS in to defend. 
dig in there. This one is going to defend my artillery. Um, <laughs> can it come through here? I think so, yeah. Put it over there. Before we move the aircraft, let's see what we're dealing with over here. We haven't spotted anything. So let's start by sending these guys down here. These guys down here. These guys will move this way. And then the tank will come through in the middle. Heavies will go here. Oh, there we go. Let's use the artillery on those guys. And now they're out of range. So we'll send this guy down here. And we keep popping into stuff. I know this is a uh, tank hunter, but let's use it on this foxhole. Get the KV over here. And dig in in the town. This one is going to defend the artillery, so we'll move up this way. That leaves the aircraft. This one is going to sleep. And so is this one. Okay, um, well, we have the Stuka. Where is the Stuka? There it is. It just have enough range to take a shot on the artillery, so let's do that. The fighter's jobs so far is to just protect the Stuka as well as the artillery. And that's the turn. Okay, let's see what the Soviets have to offer. There's an artillery piece over here. Empty foxhole and the uh, conscripts also return. We just replenish. Empty foxhole, nothing. Artillery does no damage. Infantry goes back to 6 strength. And we have the first enemy fighter attacking my Arado. Five damage. And it looks like it's going down already. No, it's okay. The first one was much better. Oh, we have another fighter here. Attacking my uh, Panzer IV. No damage. Another fighter here attacking Panzer IV. No damage. That's it. Okay. It's a very interesting approach. Now, I did a lot of talking in the beginning, so I'm gonna go ahead and take another turn for this video. It's a bit lousy to just have one turn in a video. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. The artillery should probably move. I don't think it's worth it to fire on these guys. This guy will go down there. Um, mm, 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 mm. We could land the Stuka and just await the destruction of those um, fighters, because it will definitely take damage. So I think we're playing this conservatively and land the Stuka. We're gonna come at the fighters. I could even break this one down instead of defending the artillery. Then go for a shot on the fighters. If I do that, let's just get rid of the foxhole first. Or at least take it down to one. We can pass it down here. Take a shot at the first fighter. One damage. Okay. And then we'll bring the Focke Wolves.
Let's see if I can take it out with this shot here. And then I can start on the other one. The Arado over here is returning to base. Like that. Uh, no enemy bombers in sight. We have a steward over here. That just appeared on the radar. Right, so let's see. This one will go to sleep. Uh, 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 so, here we are. Let's start by... Start by taking out the artillery piece. Then move these guys up, take a shot at this guy. And then use the engineers to finish him off. The Arado. We'll take a look down here. And we have a PE2 bomber right there. T26. No AA guns visible. Alright, that is pretty dangerous. I don't know how far it can go. Uh, but the artillery should be very careful. I can lose a lot of points. We've tried that before. That was not a success. Hopefully he will go for the tanks. But we'll send one Panzer over here. I'm just going to come down this avenue here. So I'm going to send them all this way. And that's all for this sector. The artillery will stay put because they will be out of hopefully out of range of that PE2. Over here. We have the two fighters, we can't do much about it. Uh, <laughs> we have the flak, that's all. Let's advance on Uspenskaya. Let's show it infantry. Let's give it a go with the Panzer first. Ah, damn it. I run into another Foxhole. The artillery will take a shot, might as well, so shoot there. Gonna have to take that shot. And then come around this way and destroy that foxhole. Or at least take it down to one. Over here. The KV can reach this foxhole. You can see some cavalry there. But these guys will go to sleep. can get this one all the way over here to defend the artillery. And then we have to get rid of the conscripts. Let's go around with this one. And it goes the wrong way, so let's just go like that. Send these guys out. Like that. And I think these are the moves. The two artillery pieces are not going to do anything. Let's see how that goes. Artillery fire, no effect. Artillery fire, one damage over here. The remaining fighter in the west goes back to base. The other two 
No, they're not moving yet. That was kind of a suicide attack. Here comes the fighter in the east, attacks the KV. I doubt that's gonna have any effect. The other fighter attacks the Kibirkshega. Also no effect. Here comes the PE2. It attacks my uh, frontal panzer. And it does zero damage on that. And there's some other aircraft here. That could be another bomber. Oh, there's an AA gun there. Wow, where did that come from? Right there. Uh, it took some damage to one of my Fokker Wolves, unfortunately. But uh, I think we're going to put a break in here. I hope you will uh, see, see more in the next episode. See you there. Bye-bye.